everybody. Welcome back to Heidi's Garage. Uh, thank you for watching this video and um, I want to thank everybody for helping me out with my snowmobile so far uh, on my weird issue of it just dying. Uh, so a little recap, riding down the trail, it's running good. I just put new plugs in it. Uh, beginning of our season here in Michigan, brand new plugs, riding down the trail. I put like 77 miles on it over three days, went out for another ride, boom, dead. Just dies on the trail. <laughs> with it for a while can't get it figured out mess with the kill switch throttle safety switch check for fuel okay it's got fuel was making fuel pressure it smelled like it was flooding out and the wind fire pulled the plugs and they're wet so we get back we were doing more testing on it and trying to see if it's an electrical issue if it's a computer issue or what it is couldn't find anything out so thanks to you guys I found some more tests i'm going to do um so the first thing we're going to test is we're going to try to pull it over and see if there's any codes up here on the dash see if there's anything flashing see what it's showing us see if we have lights up here see if they're shining or anything uh, and then we're gonna test the injectors to make sure they are firing and they're not just leaking so we're gonna take them out the injectors out we're gonna plug them in one by one we're gonna test them as we pull over to see if they are firing after firing at the right time and uh, then we're going to test our stator so I have a multimeter I'm gonna hook it up and we'll pull it over a few times and we'll see what we're making for voltage it seems like maybe we're not making enough even though when I owned out the stator it showed it was fine that's what we're at right now seems like it doesn't matter if I have the throttle safety switch plugged in if I don't have it plugged in it does the same thing uh, I had the tail lights unplugged like somebody said it doesn't seem like it makes any difference so it's not shorting out through there unfortunately which I wish it was I did order a new coil just in case even though it tests out okay just in case there's something weird going on with it that tests out fine when it's not running but as soon as it gets voltage or something through it doesn't like it I got an, I also ordered a new trigger coil because they're not that expensive and I figured well I can have a new one to test anyhow and I ordered a regulator which seems like the regulator only operates the power valve but just in case it's somehow tied in the system I figured well we'll get a new one that we're gonna test that today also we're gonna see what's making voltage wise uh, what it's putting out. So it should be getting 12 volts in. Should be putting out 12 volts as well. We'll see if it's doing that because I'm just curious myself. Other than that, I looked at pistons um, from both the intake side and the exhaust side and through the spark plug holes and they look great. I think it doesn't have very many miles on it because it was down a lot last year. So it has maybe 600 miles on top end. Doesn't hardly have it, that many miles on it. So other than that, it's pretty good. It does need some rollers. So these are starting to come apart on here, but it's not a bad sled. Thing really rips when it does. But yeah, we're gonna get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it over. We're gonna see what it's showing on the dash. Hopefully we get a code from it. That'd be awesome. Then we can uh, reference the codes and see what it's saying. If it doesn't, then I guess we're gonna go on to the next test. See what we can do. Let's get started. All right, we're gonna give it a pull. See what it shows on the screen. Probably nothing, but we'll... Well, it doesn't even stay on long enough to get a code read. But it does look like it's powering the screen up. I don't know about the headlights. We'll see about that. But it does look like it's powering that on. So it looks like that maybe the uh, standard's making enough power to at least turn that on. I don't know about everything else. But let's get into testing. Let's test the stator. Let's test the injectors. Let's test everything we can test. All right, so we're gonna take the pipe and key it off this here so now we can get to the injectors, which are here. Just pop this off. I like to leave this as a whole unit. Makes it easier, I think. And the first thing we're gonna do, you know, I gotta snip all my zip ties here that I put on. We're gonna test these. So we're gonna take this off. And we're gonna take the fuel rail off and the injectors out. And then we'll unplug one injector, pull it over and see if it's shooting stuff out of one. And then plug the other one in and vice versa. Think it'll be the easiest way to do it. We're gonna take all this off real quick and start testing. Alright, so what we're going to do is we are going to test our injectors. So I have a battery here, a 12 volt battery. 
we have leads. So I have my ground on, I have my power here, and I have my power and ground here. So we're gonna take our injectors, we're gonna set them here, and we're gonna open them. Okay, so here's our first injector, nice and tiny little ones. So we're gonna set them up here, we're gonna connect our ground, we're gonna connect our power. Let's see if they cycle. Opening, you can hear it clicking in there. You can feel it when I touch it. So I'm gonna say that this one is good. So we're gonna take these off, so I have them set up. We're gonna set this one back in the sled. We're gonna grab our next one, we're gonna test it. So here's our next injector. So it's from the PTO side, so we're gonna set it on our table. We're gonna connect it. We're trying to get gas all over us and light ourselves on fire. So we're connected. Take our hot line over here. And it's opening, you can hear it clicking in there. So I'm gonna say that one is good as well this back in the sled. So the next thing we're going to test is the voltage going to the injectors in the sled. So mark over the sled and we're gonna give that a try. We're gonna see what it's putting out to see if maybe I'm not opening the injectors all the way or if it's just leaking. All right, so now to do this, I'm going to disconnect my fuel pump, which is up here. You see it, uh, it's got the red and black wire going to it. Cause I don't want it to be dumping fuel into my snowmobile. That could be very bad. So we're gonna undo that, I got a pick here. Just going to unclip this connector real quick and then we can start testing it. All right, so we're disconnected. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our alligator clips that we had over here when we're testing the battery and our multimeter and we are going to connect it to the multimeter and we're gonna set it to AC voltage is what I'm gonna set this to and I will turn it over here. So we're gonna set this here like so. We can see our voltage that we are going to make and I'm going to clip onto the yellow yellow. All right, so we got probes in there. Let's pull her over, see what we get. Let's check our other connector. Yeah, pretty close to the same. All right. So that doesn't look like it's our issue. Looks like we're getting okay voltage from there. So next thing we're gonna test is the voltage from our stator. So we're gonna pull this gray plug apart that I have down here and we're gonna see what we're getting from here. Okay, so this is, this part right here is from the side we want to test, and we are going to see what it's putting out. So brown should be our negative, which is all the way over here on the side. I know that because I, I screwed it in. I'm gonna go on through the back side there. Now let's test this yellow over here. Let's give her a pull. Okay, so one yellow to black, or one yellow to brown, not a whole lot. Let's try this other yellow. So, be far yellow and then middle yellow. That one's not putting out anything. All right, let's try. I'm pretty sure these yellow ones are ignition. Mm, that one's putting out power. All right, let's try this other yellow. Yellow or let's try this other orange one. Oh, looks like it's putting out some power. All right, let's try these blues. Second blue here. Some volt. 
voltage. I'm gonna have to go and check what all these are supposed to be. Now I think these other sides I have a, all right, so I have a brown and white stripe over here. I have a green and red stripe, and I have a black and red stripe. We're gonna start with the black and red stripe one here. Give her a few. Seven volts. All right, well, let's go down. Let's try the green and red striped one. Hmm. Only like one volt. All right, let's try the brown and white striped one. Now I gotta go back and see if I can reference and find what these are supposed to be. Brown and white stripe. making pretty good power. The only one that's not is this green and red striped one. We have to figure out where that's going to and what that's supposed to power because maybe, maybe this is our issue. But we'll see. We're gonna go find that out. We're gonna do some more testing here. We're gonna test our voltage to our coil and we're gonna test our voltage to our voltage regulator. All right, so now that we tested this and we got our readings, we are going to plug our stator back in. So we're gonna plug, I'm gonna plug this gray plug back into the main wire harness. That seems like it's pretty good. I want to test the power coming to the um, coil to see if we have power coming to the coil. I feel like that's our next best test. So we know we have power going to the injectors. And we know we have power, good power coming from here. So it seems like, except for on the green and red one. So I gotta figure out what that is. But we're gonna plug this back in. I'm gonna unplug the coils. I have it unbolted because I was out, headed out testing it and looking at part numbers on it. All right, so now we're going to take our multimeter here. We're gonna put our alligator cups back in it. I think that'll make it the easiest. Okay, it seems like they're on. Let's give her a quick pull, see what we're reading. I think it's putting out voltage. It's like we're getting voltage there. Well, that's weird. So I wonder what that's supposed to actually produce. It's not a lot of voltage. It is some, but it's not a lot. I wonder if that's supposed to be higher. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, all of our testing on this snowmobile. Uh, it was a lot of boring probably watching it. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe if you can. That would be awesome. Help us out with, you know, fixing things. Uh, we got some pretty sweet builds coming up. Um, a few bikes, possibly some more sleds. So that'll be in the future. So stick around for that. Thanks for watching.